Tyler Perry Sisters is getting ready to come to the end of its season seven, and they might have saved the best for last. What's good, y'all? It's your good sis, Erica Vane, coming to you right here on Erica Vane TV with another Sisters video. And in this one, we are breaking down the synopsis for season seven, episode 21, titled Pin Ultimate. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and turn on your bell notifications so you don't miss out on any of my sister's content and conversations. And you know the moment that we go live every Wednesday after this new sister's episode to talk about it with myself and my good sis, Ellie Nick. All right. So without further ado, let me read the synopsis and tell y'all what I think. But at any given point in time, let me know what y'all think in the comment section down below. What your theories, what your predictions, what you hoping for. Yeah, tell me that too. And we can chop it up. Jordan and Fatima engage in ugly battles with Gary on Andy's behalf. Zach and Aaron bond over baby furniture. Karen and Pam make peace. Danny has a therapy session hoping to figure out her love life. Okay, I'm just going to go from the top to the bottom. I'm going to go in order that it was read. So the first part of this talks about Jordan and Fatima going to battle with Gary over Andy. And nobody was going to let him slide up in this damn baby shower, be all disrespectful, be all annoying, be all rude, be all Gary, and let him get away with it just by pulling Andrea Barnes to his side and out the door. I think everyone is going to be able to clock because keep in mind, y'all, I'm recording this before episode 20 premieres, so I don't actually know what happens in episode 20, but I don't think anybody didn't clock the fact that Andy looks scared, Andy looks nervous, Andy looks like she's being held hostage as it pertains to Gary Borders, and Jordan and Fatima are probably going to come together to try to figure out how they can basically neutralize gary and i'm wondering if they're going to get the fbi involved now that jordan knows that his sister is alive and she's working with them can he tie them in with this because andy is now in danger going to you know the agent and telling him like what's actually going on i'm pretty sure andy has cut off communication with the agent if she's now you know pretending to get married to gary so she can buy herself some more time and try to protect um Jordan from having any of this stuff released I also am looking forward to Jordan finding out that Andy only broke up with him to protect him because Gary was about to hang all of this over his head and now he can go in and like help to clean up this big ass mess Andrea Barnes you should have tapped in your fellow people to begin with because girl you are not a woman for conflict for strife you are not a one to fight but Fatima is definitely down to fight and Jordan never liked uh, Gary's ass anyway so he's with it and he loves you so this is going to get taken care of I definitely think by the end of the um the season I'm really like getting so anxious to see what happens with Gary Borders because if you haven't known or haven't seen I did a video where I'm predicting that Gary actually dies by the end of this season and we only have a few episodes left so there's not much time and if that's the case and Jordan and Fatima are battling it out with him the episode before the finale are they going to be some of the first sub suspects if Gary goes missing and or dies um, as a result of like everybody being sick of his BS. I can't wait to see. Now, the next part of this reads that Zach and Aaron bond over baby furniture. And I'm wondering, like, are they going shopping solo? Are they going shopping with Karen? Is this like an everybody group trip? I kind of would be down to see either. What I would not be down to see is Zach and Fasima, Aaron and Karen going shopping for baby furniture. I know they got to get there at some point, I guess. I guess that's going to be a part of the co-parenting. But I personally am not ready to see it. I don't want to see it at all. But I could totally get with Zach and Aaron going shopping together. And I could get with them going shopping specifically with Karen. I still need more Aaron and Karen. Not necessarily in them romantically interacting. But like seeing them navigate space with one another. So I can get a better read on what's actually going on. Because I'm not feeling strong or sturdy around the idea that we're going to see a good amount of Aaron in season eight. And I hate that for us. He is literally one of the strongest male pillars within the sisters universe within a show that's supposed to be about women has now become so much about men. And then they don't even push the number one man, the most stable man, the most mentally stable and, and emotionally healthy and emotionally intelligent man to the forefront. He's the one who gets the least amount of airtime. And I absolutely hate it. So I'm interested to see 
what this particular setup is as they are you know continuing to prepare for their babies to come into the world and see what these conversations look like i also still am looking for the writers to give zach some humility the way that he talked to aaron even when he was making peace he tried to make it seem like they had beef with each other when he has always had beef with aaron and aaron has always tried to get along with him and honor karen and zach's relationship for what it was so that she can heal and move forward and move through it and move past it with him and i don't like that that zach continues to pedestalize himself this is his first child by way of like the actual experience because he didn't get to experience michael with heather and he still learned a lot however aaron has had this experience with his wife even though it wasn't his biological kids and i think that if zach shifts into a place of like learning from aaron and actually like allowing aaron to have like mentor homeboy energy with him it could do him a world of good in reference to character development and i think i'm i'm grasping at straws and i'm hoping for a lot that we're probably not going to see but i'm at least let y'all know as my audience that's what i would hope to see that's what i feel like would be really really strong story as it pertains to zach however we have no clue what this is going to actually look like now karen and pam make peace i don't understand this particular part of it because karen technically doesn't have beef with Pam she has genuine concerns that she is going into financial ruin behind Pam's poor financial decisions Pam has mismanaged Karen's money Pam has mismanaged Karen's credit to build her own business and to launch her own business and start to see profits from said business and has not paid her actually back so now Karen is suffering she's lost insurance all of these things are happening and she's also pregnant with twins and I think that those are very valid concerns that doesn't necessarily mean beef so to say that they make peace I hope that this is Pam owning up to her bullshit as it pertains to these financial issues her maybe paying Karen back or at least getting Karen back square with her insurance and going and fixing the mess so that Karen doesn't have to do it and then maybe they have a really honest mature conversation of like yo you're actually my friend and my employee I love you and I respect you however you can't put me in this kind of bind and Pam as a new entrepreneur should be able to best understand now because she's on the other side of it of like yeah I was dead wrong I should not have done that I totally forgot I'm very very sorry whoop de boop de boop I hope that the making peace looks more like Pam apologizing to Karen versus Karen having to continue this apology parade that the writers have had her on this season because so many people have done things to her and she should have natural human responses. And yet y'all want her to be apologetic for having these natural human responses to being victimized by the people that supposedly love her. Make it make sense. And last but not least, I guess, is Daniela who has a therapy session hoping to figure out her love life. Like, girl, what is there to figure out? Like, your man's ex-wife wants him back they have two kids they have a family she's not going anywhere he's also not checking her but also girl do you actually want to be there because you have nothing but negative things to say about his little raggedy ass devil kids bad kids whatever you want to call them like you have all of these negative things to say you don't actually want to be bothered with children you just want a bunch of sex and a, a partner who's not going to talk to you and not going to you know dive deeper into anything else like you need to be figuring out how to make your single season work you need to figure out how to make your self-love work versus your love life work but you know carisha i ain't trying to step on no toes I would like you to hop to it and get on a good foot as it pertains to doing your job and helping her unpack all of the stuff that she has with her because all of it, all of the negative self-worth, all of the limited beliefs, all of the toxicity that Daniela holds within her mindset manifests with every last one of her relationships, not just within her love life. So for her to be in therapy trying to focus on her love life seems like a, a mute point. It seems like a... a, a a futile mission if you will because all of her sh is actually deeper personal things that have to be dealt with before it will manifest in her love life or within her interpersonal relationship with friends and all of that i'm calling bs on her therapy journey period because she has yet to be checked in a way that she needs to be checked for her ultimate growth so yeah the end of this i'm not actually looking forward to she going to therapy hoping to figure out her love life girl it's an enigma to you. It's an enigma to, to Carisha. Go figure out how to love yourself and then we can start there. But those are my thoughts. That's the synopsis. If you want to read the synopsis for yourself, I do have it on ericavane.com. Linked in the description box down below. And also, y'all, I now have um episode recaps for all of the series that i'm covering written out on ericavane.com so you can check ericavane.com daily for all the latest in your favorite television series 
I got you. We expanded and I love this for us. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I'm going to see you in the next one.